that uh, what we need to do is we need to recognize it. We need to uh, make sure that we have the, the political will to, uh, to make a difference. I think that it's not about uh, what's the solution, it's how to apply it. And, and frankly, what I witnessed myself is that uh, a lot of people are saying that it's a matter of resources. So how can we manage to get those resources uh, instead of having... Uh, a bunch of uh, little programs everywhere. Is, is there a way to create a unique booth in a national strategy where we can apply it? And it's not about to to uh, to double that issue, to, to make double employment of that. It's like if there are some people who are good at it, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. You have to make sure that you're providing what they need to uh, to apply it. Uh, one of my one of my concern was maybe that uh, we didn't do enough politically and. Uh, I always said, when was the last time when you look at the homeless in the eyes? First of all, do you look at him in the, or her in the eyes? And do you ask him their, his or her name? And, uh, you know, it's... But there's also a complexity because there's a mental health, also a lot of that. So uh, I, I believe that, first of all, Tuesday, I'm going to meet one of the main recruitment to, uh, to put up an agenda to, to make it work. And this is where I am now. It's not about, okay, what can we do together? No, no. It's a matter of when, it's a matter of resource. How can we get it? How can we apply it? How can we uh, help them to be and to be a mayor who's a facilitator and a catalyst? I'm going to talk also to Madame Veronique Yvon, a very sensitive person who's, uh, who's, uh, who's in charge as a, the minister in, at Quebec City. Uh, if I have to talk to Dr. Réjean Hébert, I'll do it too. We, it's a social issue. It's, it should be, and it has to be a priority. How about the federal government? At the fed, that's the other part. At the federal level, regarding law, uh, housing, regarding uh, prevention tool, you know, we can through uh, through uh, health uh, Health Canada, through Justice Canada. There is some services that we can provide to show to, uh, and and it's not just a matter of Montreal. You know, you have that in Calgary, Vancouver, in the big cities. And, so we, we need to, to fight together and make sure that uh, they put up their resource, but in the way that they apply their resource, when they, they build up some national strategy for housing, for example, it's not a one-size-fits-all. We have to understand the conjuncture, we have to understand the environment where we are at, and uh, make sure that you have that kind of flexibility. Provide us with the resources. We have the team. We have the people on the field. It's not. It's not even a matter of the municipality will take care of it. You already have the community, the, the volunteers, the resources that already exist, Mission Old Brewery and all that. And let's all work together to uh, to to make sure that we'll think one and foremost for the individual first. All right. Do you think it, it's right that uh, the public is not going to be told what disciplinary measures are going to be taken against the officer who was involved in the... That's another issue. What I said, you know, I, I, I react to the situation. I, I said that was unacceptable, but as a mayor of Montreal, I'm not taking care of the disciplinary approach. This is the, the matter of the director. He, he reacts immediately. They talk to the person. They have a, they have their own code and they and they apply it. So uh, I think that uh, already just to show that something happened for me is uh, is okay. In a perfect world, what would you be the best plan that you could put in place to fight homelessness here in Montreal? Well, we need first of all a roof for everybody. And the Maslow pyramid, the top of it is the self-esteem. We have to provide the uh, all, all the tools so that person can uh, flourish. Uh, the other issue though, it, there's a matter of, uh, of uh, mental health. So it's, it's a very complex issue. Can we provide the, 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 the medication? Can we surround that person not to let uh, him or her by, by themselves? So uh, it's, it's, it's not a, again, it's not a one size fits all, but uh, I think that if we provide the tools, if we have the right policy, if we have like housing, like a dignity by the employment, uh, to help them, and, and some of the other issues that, you know, it's just not a matter that happened now. Uh, I spoke about the new Canadians, I spoke about uh, the, uh, the uh, Aboriginal and the Inuit, we, uh, you know, the, toxic, the, the toxicomanie, we, we need, you know, it's, 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 at the bottom line is you need at least a place when everybody can make sure that we address and cover all the angles and that's that will be my role and do you have a budget set aside to do this 
there will be there will be there is a budget for my own i'm gonna enhance it how much uh wait for the budget it will come but uh i, I want to show that uh, i'm i'm also at my level doing what i have to do to show that we are all serious about it secondly you know can we make the inventory of all the programs that exist and you will have some surprises there so if you put all the resources together you might have a, you might have a, a good way to uh, to fulfill it but it's not just a matter of money because resource is not just a matter of money <coughs> it's a matter of how you apply it it's a matter of do you provide the proper tools to the people who are already able to address that issue my role is to be that kind of facilitator Monsieur Kodas, vous pouvez juste oui, dire, de, 